Spring is a time when we know whether we're kind of coming back strong or not. The spring season I see as a training time and it really is maybe more important than the fall. In the spring, what we're trying to do is prep our team for the fall. We get to get back on our feet and come back in the fall strong. We must show progression and we must show that we're able to play with the big boys. Well, my first season at San Jose State, I enjoyed it. They, they really worked hard. Through last season, you know, we, we started out not too strong. We didn't get the results we wanted. Losing in the, in the way we did, we just didn't perform at the tournament the first round. I think that helped build a lot of character and I think it's translated in the spring. Spring's a little bit different than the fall here at San Jose. You're limited to the number of games you play. In the fall, you play up to 22, 23 games. With spring, you only play up to seven games. It's more about developing. Basically, we're a lot better technically, and we get a lot better athletically as well. You prepare yourself, prepare yourself, prepare the players, then you play a game. We have much more time to work with our players because we have fewer games. Sports performance team become a lot more important this time of year. They can really go after it. Having Coach Nicolini and a team that take care of the boys, it's a huge advantage. I'm involved in all the aspects of their nutrition, uh, warm-up, rehab, uh, conditioning, strength, speed, acceleration. He's very open to, to hear what we expect from our players. Well, he does his research on soccer and everything's really relative to what we do. We're trying to maintain us to prevent injury and then to help us get even bigger, stronger and faster. He really pushed me to go above. We really get after it every day. This is my time to really go with these guys. When you get stronger, when you get fitter, uh, when you get more endurance, more stamina, you get more confident. Can that filter into the technical side? I absolutely believe it can. We do a lot of technical work. We break things down all the way to the tactical aspect of the game, and we have the chance of doing that in beats and pieces and build up for the fall season. One, two, three, uh -huh. The spring game has a little bit more bite to it. We sat down as a staff and Simon's final decision on the caliber teams we want to play. We played some of the top teams in the country. We played BYU and then we played, you know, three arguably of the top 25 teams in Cal, Santa Clara and uh, Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara is one of the biggest schools in California. It's a big game, they get a big crowd. They've hosted the Final Four, they've been national champions. It's a great environment, great stadium. They're big, physical, super athletic. They're known for their soccer. That's a perfect spring game. You're looking at some different systems, some kids that didn't play an awful lot in the fall because they were freshmen or young will now play in the spring. So it's an opportunity for them to be assessed. I'd say all those games are very, very competitive and, and very similar to the type of teams that we have to beat to be something next year. I don't come here to take it easy. I don't care what goes on, at the end we're gonna try and win the game. And we're going to play with style, you know that. We're always going to try and do that. You cannot let that down tonight. We'll do one trip where we'll stay away. Road trips with the team are always, you know, some of the funnest moments that you'll ever remember in college. Staying away kind of replicates what we need to do in the fall. Come away, on the road, play your game, do a professional job. You put them up in a, in a nice hotel, bring them to the beach the next day. Simon broke out the cricket set. Doing something different, a different sport like cricket can really bring the group together. 99% of them have never played before, so they've got to get their head around that. Simon, his referee is just like horrible. Well, his judgment on refing cricket uh, was, I think, below par. I don't know if he does that on purpose or he's just bad, but it gets everybody engaged. And when we really get to know each other as people and as teammates and as, as students here, we have more fun, uh, we get to know people better. It's, it's a really good bonding experience for the entire team. It's been very effective. I, I can see the results today. As a team, you know, we want to build on goals every year in this spring. The six games are very important going towards next year. We know going into the fall what can be better. So next year, you know, we're going to try to set ourselves up to succeed, which we're going to try to win the WAC. Would mean that you're one of the top 50 in the country. Find your drive, okay, and follow it, follow it, follow it, follow it. Well, I have everything in place to be a successful team. That we've never looked more comfortable together and 
starting to really just hit our game and understand what it is we need to do individually and for the team. You see them just a little bit more confident in the way they carry themselves, the way they enter the field. We're better this year and we are going to win the conference. I mean, we're trying to get our name out there. I mean, trying to make a great program out of ourselves and it's possible with the players we have and the great coaching staff. We're going to make San Jose State stand as one of the top 20, 25 schools in the nation. And everything we've done now is, is going to help us in the fall and I think next fall is going to be something really special.